So here we are in Goa, driving the new Honda Amaze. Now um, it's essentially a Brio with a boot, but uh, from the experience that I've had of it, it's actually a lot more than that. Um, from the front, as you can see, it's difficult to distinguish it from the Brio hatchback. It looks exactly the same. But as you come over the side, you'll see that it's obviously been extended. Um, it's still very compact. <laughs> the back end has been well integrated. It doesn't look like a, uh, an afterthought or an add-on. In fact, both the front and the back look like they were designed by the same person. Um, and its immediate competition is, of course, the Swift Desire, which, uh, in my opinion, is um, is not as good looking a car as this. Um, <clears throat> the car that we drove in Japan a few months ago uh, looks exactly the same as this. I don't see any changes that they've uh, brought onto the production model. This car is riding on 14 inch wheels, but there is room to add another inch or so. So possibly 15 inch wheels could fit in there. The boot, if you will just come around the back, is 400 litres, which is a lot more than the immediate competition, the Swift Desire. And most importantly, um, contrary to what you would expect from a hatchback that's been turned into a sedan, it's really roomy in the back. Now, I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall and I have lots of knee room, lots of elbow room, lots of head room. Uh, so the utilization of space is excellent. They've really done a good job as far as that is concerned. The Maze is going to come in two engine variants. One is the tried and tested 1.2 litre petrol engine that is also found in the Brio hatchback as well as the Jazz. But more significantly is the new ID Tech 1.5 litre diesel, which is Honda's first ever diesel engine in this country. It's a derivative of the 1.6 litre diesel engine that's sold in Europe. It makes about 100 PS of power uh, and about 20 kgm of torque. And it's a very drivable, smooth engine. The torque curve is quite flat. Um, you can put it in third gear and, and trundle along quite easily. It doesn't snatch. Uh, there's hardly any lag. It's a very good unit. Um, it's usable both in slow crawling traffic as well as it's, um, it's a nice highway cruiser as well. The only downside is that um, the amount of clatter that comes into the cabin is quite a lot. Now this engine is an all aluminium unit and uh, those units are inherently noisier than cast iron units. So the NVH levels could have been worked on a little more is what I think. Um, it's a little unusual to be driving a Honda and having that much noise come into the cabin. But otherwise the engine is very drivable. Uh, it's uh, likely to be very fuel efficient. Honda claims that this car will be the most fuel efficient car period in the entire country which is quite a tall claim but uh, there's no doubt that it should be quite fuel efficient. The petrol engine is quite uh, familiar. It's uh, quite a peppy little unit um, but this diesel engine, the one that I'm driving now, is the one that will obviously sell the most uh, given today's market scenario. The ride quality in the maze is actually quite good. It's a little on the soft side, but most people will like that. There's a lot of space um, overall in the cabin, lots of headroom, legroom, especially in the back. Um, there's an incredible uh, use of space that's been done. There's a lot of, uh, even for tall people, uh, you, they won't find their knees knocking anything against the front seats. The boot is nice and big. It's 400 liters. It'll swallow at least a couple of large suitcases. So overall, this is a very well packaged, extremely practical car um, and if they get the pricing right, it should do well. For a first drive, for a first India drive, we are quite impressed. Um, this is in keeping with a lot of other Honda products. It's They've got a lot of things right, uh, it does a lot of things. Without being quite an enthusiast car, it's fun to drive. Without being um, overly sort of boring, it's, it's practical, it's spacious. So. I would say that we are quite impressed um, and until we do a full road test, um, the report is good. Okay, to quickly sum things up, the Amaze is a good looking car, it's spacious, it's practical, the diesel engine is a nice unit although it's a little noisy. It should do well, it has a potential to do well given uh, if Honda prices it right. Now we've been a little sneaky, we looked in the glove box and the insurance policy of this particular car is valued at 6.8 lakh rupees. So that gives you a rough indication of what they may have priced it at. It may not be exactly that. Um, but all in all, 
a good car has a potential to do well should do well if it's priced right and uh, in about a month's time uh, we'll pit it against the desire and its other competition so look forward to that until then see you around